Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code weekly contest 360, an easy level problem. Uh, but yeah, I, I would say a tricky one because you can see that with the, uh, you know, low accuracy as well. Not that tough, but a good starter. So uh, the problem name is uh, furthest point from origin. The problem statement says that you are given a string moves of length n consisting only of characters L, R and underscore. Okay. Now the string represents your movement on a number line starting from origin that is position zero. In the ith move, you can choose one of the following directions, right? What are, what are the moves? So move to left if your current character is L or it is underscore. Okay. Move to right if your current character, okay, in the ith move, move to right if your current character is R or it is underscore, right? So in underscore, you can either move left or move right, right? return the distance from the origin of the furthest point you can get after the n moves right simple like let's take the first example so let me draw the number line this is 0 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 right i'm standing here now the first move is l so from 0 we'll move to minus 1 the, now the second move is underscore now here comes the tricky case I don't know that should I move left, should I move like right, right? I don't know that. Now the issue here is issue here is I'll just let you know. Suppose my string is left underscore right, 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 right. Just taking an example, right? So ideally, what should be my movement? The movement should be that I am standing at origin. This is minus one. So because of left, I go here. But this underscore in this underscore, I do not move left. Rather, I move right right rather i move right so what will happen i'll come back to zero okay I'll, I'll just erase it i'll come back to zero now why i am doing this let me do it again okay let me do it again why i am doing this this string was left underscore r r r and one more r right why i'm doing this so from zero let's calculate the answer in both the cases okay one two three standing here go to left in underscore also go to left now there are four right so one two three four getting it so if you talk about this thing then what is the farthest that we went if we took the these uh, moves right so from zero we went to minus two and from zero we went to two so the farthest we went was only two right two units of distance right let's take the other option the other option is for this underscore instead of moving left move to right let's do that as well i'm standing at zero right one two three four getting it so i'm standing at zero from here i move to left and for underscore i move back to right now there are four rights one two three four now just see what happens the farthest that i move is on the left hand side i go to minus one the right hand side i go to four so answer will be four here i was getting two and here i am getting four okay why does this happen this is because just to show you for this example the number of right right the number of rights are dominating here the count of rights are more than number of lefts right so my net movement right if i remove the underscore my net movement will be in the right direction now to maximize that thing what i'll do for all the underscores i'll move in the right direction right because just see something uh, something is making you move right or let me do it like this suppose you have a score okay suppose you have a score there is one operation which is increasing your score the other operation is decreasing your score right and there are some movements where you can either increase your score or decrease your score right so what will be your preference your preference will be that okay this guy is increasing my score this guy is decreasing my score so let's find the net score and then for all these movements right for all these movements i'll just increase my score and that is how i'll get the maximum number of points right so this is what we are doing here we are moving in left direction we are moving in right direction whatever is the net movement maybe i'm uh, moving in the left maybe i'm moving in the right net net i'll have some value let's call it diff and i'm just concerned about the absolute value of that uh, diff right so this tells me that either in left or in right you are moving these number of steps extra right for example four steps in right and uh, six steps in left means that i'm moving two steps extra in one of the direction i don't know which direction but yeah there is a diff of two right because these steps are defined right so there is a diff of two now what i'll do for all the underscores I'll just add the number of underscores in my diff. 
right this is the absolute value and i'll add the underscores why i why why i'll add the underscores because suppose this is right this says that i i move two extra steps in right so all these four steps will be added rather for all these four steps also i'll move in right direction contrary to this if this two says that okay i'm moving in the left direction right so all, for all these movements i'll move in the left direction only getting it this is how we solve this problem and you can see solve this as well so this is left underscore right left underscore underscore right how many left and rights are there one two left one two right so net net the diff is zero so irrespective of uh, you know direction you can move in any one right so one two three uh, these are the underscore so your score is three right let's talk about this case this is underscore r underscore so there are two underscore left left underscore right two left one right that means my diff is one and how many underscores are there one two three four so one plus four that is five is your answer similarly you have seven underscores here so no left no right diff is zero all the seven underscores will move in the same direction either left or right right so this is how we solve this problem this is the diff this is the number of spaces now if the current character is an underscore increment your space count else if your character is left decrement the value if your character is right increment the value right this is how we find the diff right now final answer will be math dot so the absolute value of diff plus the number of spaces and that is my answer right uh yeah the most optimized one because obviously you have to move go to all the characters right then only you'll be knowing that okay these are the steps that i can click right so this is how you solve this problem i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case you have any queries or you have any other uh, solution in your mind do let me know in the comment section and yeah in case of queries i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye